Hey bro, peoples, this is Chris aka Sox22, and welcome back to another random creepypasta stories. Now today, for like making, basically making the, um, pr the previous random creepypasta stories short, I'm going to be reading another creepypasta this week, just to like lengthen the um, creepypasta time this week. So apparently, I had to choose an extremely short creepypasta, which only taking about 2 minutes to read. So let's get started. This one is called The Midnight Snatcher. During the Great Depression in the U.S., people didn't have jobs or money to support themselves or their families. So in other words, food and supplies were scarce during those times. Every time a child would whine that he or she was hungry, the mother or father would tell them the story about a creature named the Midnight Snatcher that would steal children at night and cook them in a giant pot in his lair, which was the sewers. There was a boy named Billy who thought the story was bullshit, so he decided to go to the sewer with a couple of his best friends to prove everyone that the Midnight Snatcher wasn't real. On their way into the sewer, to the main sewer line, three of Billy's friends chickened out and ran away. Billy called them pussies and proceeded into the main sewer with his remaining friend Chuck. They got inside the sewer and Billy swears he sees something and goes after it. Chuck stays behind. Fifteen seconds later, Chuck hears Billy scream for help. He follows the scream. He follows Billy's voice until he finds, a ca a finds him in a cage being lowered into a giant pot full of hot water and vegetables. Billy tells Chuck to forget about him and go home and tell everyone that the Midnight Snatcher is real. Then when Chuck turns around, he, when, ju then when Chuck turned around, he saw him. He was wearing a big black trench coat and with a du and with a dusty Pandora, he, and he was seven feet tall. Before Chuck could say the word, the snat before Chuck could say a word, the snatcher picks up a brick and bashes it, bashes Chuck in the head with it. Then he takes Chuck and throws him in the cage with Billy and presses the button that starts to slowly lower the cage into a bubbling pot. The midnight snatcher laughs and he says. That tonight will he will feast. Sally, Billy, and Chuck were boiled to death by a snatcher and consumed. Fifteen years later, police find the fifteen years later police find the bone of the two boys in a sewage treatment plant, with a note saying, "Long live the midnight snatcher." Now, wow, that was an incredibly short creep pasta. Sorry for the low voice. I'm gonna try to raise the volume once is once I get this audio done. But wow, it's only two minutes. Yeah. So my thoughts on this creep pasta. It's actually good because. They basically got all the details right, because currently in social studies, I'm watching this movie called Cinderella Man. It's based on the Great Depression, and kids were really hungry. Food, money, base, and even electricity, or even small things, were, were scarce during that time. So, it kind of makes sense of, like, where this creepypasta was going, because... Sorry, my voice is kind of, like, uh, I'm going bad. It's just, like, how they acted, like... I can understand what the parents were doing with like c telling them a scary story, but I also like how they go into depth with this story. Like they don't just like tell you a story about how the Midnight Snatcher is just some guy who c takes kids and boils them in the pot, but it actually it, like deepens deepens into like kids actually going to the sewers to find this Midnight Snatcher thing. I would like to see like a little bit more backstory to the Midnight Snatcher because it, ba based on the story we could all we could all tell that he's just some guy who likes to take kids and boil them. But I would like a little bit more depth, maybe like a backstory or something to the Midnight Snatcher. But overall, it's decent creep, awesome. I mean, it could have been better in many ways, but it's good like at the mood it captures about how bad the Great Depression was and the stories that the parents used to tell the kids if they're hungry. I actually kind of like this creepypasta, even though it's only like two, like a minute long to read. Just I like it. So guys, if you like what's here, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And if you have any suggestions that will make this creepypasta better, leave it in the comments below. I will read them all because well, no one really comments on my videos. So yeah. So peace out, peoples. Ember Burr.